Ugh. I haven't been this hungover in years. You probably know if you watch the channel, I don't really drink much these days, but that after party last night just got out of hand. Lots of Jameson was consumed, and that's not even a nice whiskey. I mean, no whiskey is nice, but Jameson is, is one of the worst. I've got like five hours before I fly, and I heard there's a really tasty Philly cheesesteak challenge down the street called the Frankenstein Challenge. It's alive! So, let's get back to work. <laughs> I really don't want to eat. You think I can finish it? Uh, if you <laughs> physically eat an 18 wheeler, yes. You got it, bro. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's called a Frankenstein. Comes with about 25 ounces of steak, bell pepper, onion, mushroom, polo, and American nacho, pizza sauce, four hot dogs, fries, onion rings, pepperoni, and pastrami. Uh, you get 40 minutes to take it down. All right. Enjoy yourself, okay? Can't wait, yeah. I don't really want to eat with my hands, but I'll, I'll eat with my hands. Yeah, pull the other one, Beard. You've never been one for cutlery. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't know what I would have done without this plastic fork. Could have made a real mess around here. Anyway, hidey hi, Beard Army. Welcome back to another video and the fifth and final day of the LA mini series. And today we're taking on the Frankenstein Sandwich Challenge at a sandwich shop called Figueroa Philly. I'm trying to be Randy clean here because I've got to take a flight in like three hours. So, um, yeah, I don't really want my beard to be a complete mess. Are you guys going to eat food? Oh, I probably wouldn't look in this direction and it, you'll lose your appetite. I think legally that constitutes fair warning. So this family of uh, two parents and two rather young children knew what they were getting into when they sat in the blast radius. So not my problem. I'm only messing around. They were actually really supportive and uh, the guy subscribed to me on uh, YouTube, the, the dad. So if you're watching, thank you. This is precisely the kind of food you should eat when you're hungover. Definitely hangover food. Yeah, and that's what I needed on this day. It's been a long time since I got regularly leathered on beer. I did that when I was younger quite a lot. Uh, but when I did, I used to always crave salty, fatty things like this. Hot dogs. Mm, so it's getting towards midday now. I start to fill up a little bit and uh, that was a young couple that came in. The, uh, the boyfriend believed in me, his girlfriend, not so much. So you said the record was like nine minutes something. And I know Molly and Brandon have both done this. So I'm assuming one of them has the record. So I don't feel too bad about not quite getting that. Yeah, I think the record, especially on this occasion, might be somewhat out of my, uh, my grasp. So I thought, you know, take it easy, enjoy it. And it was a delicious sandwich. I've been eating all this meat. I feel really, really sorry for whoever sat next to me on the plane. Ugh. It's gonna be carnage. Actually, the journey at home wasn't too bad. I was a little bit windy, but um, there was an old lady next to me who slept for most of the journey, and a guy to my right who was watching weird uh, mukbang videos of uh, girls eating live seafood. I say weird, I mean, I guess it's no more weird than you guys watching this, but um, I don't know, I found that a little bit odd. Anyway, uh, we're just about to finish up this uh, very salty, creamy, cheesy, greasy, delicious sandwich. And that's it for the LA mini series. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you did, and I'll catch you next time.
I didn't keep the beard quite clean enough, but it'll have to do. You didn't think I was going to do it, did you? You were sat there thinking, oh, English people can't eat. 